As far as uh, smelting um, or processing, uh, right now uh, there's a, a uh, uh, not this kind of smelting uh, or uh, processing. Well, let me, let me back up and say that the, the ore will probably be more concentrated on site or close to the to the mine. In other words. Um, you have an ore that may run 2% copper, for example, and you want to grind that ore up and make a higher grade concentrate of, say, 50% copper. Then you have to ship that somewhere and have a process, um, usually to a smelter. Um, the United States does not have smelting capacity, that usually, so you usually have to go to foreign sources, probably to, um, to Sudbury, which is the closest one, or maybe even China or Japan. They'd love to get this material. So uh, um, the, the last smelter in this area was down to White Pine that's been dismantled. Uh, the refinery is, uh, is still there to refine the copper. There's been talk about maybe converting that, pipe, that refinery to an electro-winning circuit, but that's, it would be very, very expensive to do so. so. Yes. Yeah, is, is Highland Copper slash Cubanaw Copper basically an exploration company or would this be <coughs> would this be the company that would prove profitable to, to actually develop the site and do the mining or is it like Rio Tinto did the exploration and <coughs> sold to another company? How does that work? Well, at this point, you know, the intent is to have Highland, aka Cubanaw carried through. Uh, right now all we've done is exploration, so I can't really predict what the, that would be like going forward. Okay, so ultimately whoever does the mining, you can't predict at this point. No, yeah. we, we have one mining engineer on staff. He's sitting back there. <laughs> <laughs> that may be a start. I don't know. <laughs>